downtown Mexico City. It's the beating heart of this country, a mega city, home to over 20 million. The largest Spanish-speaking city in the world, it's also one of the most violent on the planet. Every year, a third of all the world's murders happen in Latin America. Gangs and guns, a lethal mix, and it's easy to find both. The gun-selling gangs are an essential part of the criminal culture here. This, this one right here, got nine millimeters, ten bullets. This this is gonna have a cost of ten thousand pesos here at Tepito. Mm -hmm. I have all these guns. We can we can find with me all these guns, all these type of guns. We have the the large guns, the big guns. You know, this is a simple one. You know, mm -hmm. nine millimeters. Well, I have the other guns here. Six hours, 32 revolvers, and we can find these bigger ones, you know? Okay. We have this too, we can find that too. And the AK-47, which is used by yeah. the gangs all the time, yeah? yeah. That's what, what, what the cartels use. Here in Mexico, you can do whatever you want, like working, you know? Mm -hmm. If you want to study something, you study. If you want to work, you work. You want to do bad things, bad things. You want to become a narcotraficante, you become a narcotraficante. A few blocks from Mexico City's smartest neighborhoods, you quickly descend into a world of drug cartels, gangs and killers. They're fallen, immortalized in street murals and a shrine to the gang culture. <laughs> Next door, Tepito Market, one of the most dangerous places in Mexico City. It has its own cartel, but prides itself on being a free zone where deals can take place without the threat of a gang war. <laughs> Jorge Vera, a former world boxing champion, showed me round. Without him here, these friendly faces and jolly dance lessons couldn't happen. <laughs> Santos is a boss. On his say-so, we could easily be disappeared, as they call it. Without Jorge, I wouldn't be allowed past the first stall in this vast marketplace. You can get everything you can imagine here, DVDs, clothes, training equipment. Topico, though, is a center for selling all sorts of things. In fact, there's a saying here that you can get virtually anything. Drugs, guns and killers, they're all for sale in Topito. Deep into the market, I met Carlos, a professional hitman. Over a 25-year career, he's killed nearly a 1,000 people on his own. Working for cartels and politicians alike, colluding with corrupt police and military. They can use the police, they can use perhaps the army as well, virtually anything. Claro, sí. Inclusive hay lugares donde se sale fuera, no se puede llevar ni un arma ni nada de aquí. Llega uno allá y allá lo reciben a uno, lo llevan a un hotel y entregan las armas que va a necesitar. I mean, it's, it's, it's something like out of a movie. Is, is it a bit like that? Is his life sort of strangely like is depicted on television and film? The abduction and probable murder of 43 students in September has shot Mexico into confronting its drug-related crime problems. Kidnapped himself some years ago, a double cross that cost him the tips of three fingers sent to his family in the post, the assassin confessed to involvement in mass murder himself. Wow, and how many people died in that one attack? Como unas 35, 40 personas. Pero es como llegamos y se mató a toda la gente, se aventaron en camiones y nadie supo. At the Church of the Dead, a strange mix of Catholicism and voodoo, where the congregation make offerings of alcohol and drugs, they pray for future success and support from the fallen. They don't ask for salvation here. 
they asked for help in surviving. And for so many, that's the reality of Mexico today, a fight to survive. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Mexico City.